Absolutely insane ending to the Mets Phillies game on Sunday night baseball. The Mets are up eight to five, three run game, but there's two men on. The tying run is at the plate, and it is Reese Hoskins. He's got a chance to be a hero, and he's got a chance to clear his conscience because earlier in the game, this little lollipop lazy throw. The Mets took advantage and scored the tying run, and he's been thinking about that ever since because it led to a huge inning, and he wants to make up for it. First pitch, way outside. Second pitch, he swings through, and he's like, oh, not that. Not that. 1-1, he takes high. Great take. 2-1, and we are going to have fun. Bam! Hot shot to right field. It's going over under where... Uh, and it's really interesting to note in this shot that all the Phillies fans and all the Phillies players are cheering like it's a home run, but Alonzo and McNeil are playing the field, calling for the ball, running to for the cutoff because they don't think it's a home run, and Reese is just running around celebrating while the Mets are like, no, that ball's in play. So Diaz, the pitcher, is confused as hell, has no idea what to do. And when Reese got to second base, he stopped just in case it's a double or it didn't go out. He doesn't want to be out on the base path. So he stops at second and he asks the ump, what do you got? And the ump say, no, it's a home run, Reese. Your emotions just swung 180. You're the hero. So he rounds third. The entire stadium is going crazy. What a moment. Two outs. Oh, no, they're reviewing it. Two outs, bottom of the ninth, game tying three-run homer, but it's going to review, and here you go. There's the ball, just comes into view, ready? Top of the screen, coming into view, comes down, and it hits the railing flush. This is kind of hard because the ball's as bright as the numbers on the seats, but right on the railing, here it is. I just made it like a little black and white. There's the ball, you can see it, railing. Man, so the it has to clear that railing. This railing, see, it's a wall down here, and then there's a netting on top. Well, that is just the extension of the wall. So it needs to clear the railing. And you can see when it comes down in those three shots that if it was to hit one of these seats, you'd see it jiggle. You'd see it bounce. But the seats stay incredibly still, and it just goes right up against the walling. Like, as much of a non-home run you could possibly hit. That's as far as you can hit the ball without it counting as a home run to that area of the ballpark. Just like baseball gods messing around. Look at this. So now they got to figure out, well, where do we put them? If it's not a home run, what happens? Well, here's, I synced up two different replays so you could see what would have happened. You know, Conforto's got a beat on it. He jumps up, he comes down. Now the live shot goes back to the field and this replay stayed with the outfielder. So you can see Reese is rounding second there right as the right fielder picks up the ball. So I think it's pretty easy to say, all right, well, he goes to second base. They had the other two runs score. You can see Reese say, they said it was a home run, though. I don't know what's going on. That's a bummer for him. And they say, nope, you go to second. Fuck you. Fuck you. He's mad. He wanted to be the hero. I would, too. I would too. Now he's got to go to second base and they actually like make him walk all the way out there and then he just gets pinch run for So then he's back and then the Mets win and the Phillies lose and Reese Hoskins just got put through the absolute biggest roller coaster of emotions you can have in a two hour span. Oh man, this one's brought to you by Talking Baseball. It's a podcast. Every Monday we recap the weekend series. Every Friday we recap the weekday series. So tomorrow we're going to have a lot of fun talking about this and everything else that happened in the league.